so I thought I'd make this video about upgrading your video drivers. Um, I have mixed feelings on the AMD Catalyst 13.1 update. I had the previous uh, version installed here on this AMD system. I have two 7950s in Crossfire. I'm looking for a performance boost, an increase in um, the way things look, feel when you're playing games. As you can see here, I upgraded to 13.1. Before that, I had the 12.11 beta drivers with the latest uh, game profiles from AMD also installed. So I always have the game profiles as well as the latest drivers for all of my tests. You can see here that AMD has a huge list of what uh, they claim will improve, of course, if you upgrade from uh, your previous version. So previous version meaning uh, the AMD Catalyst 12.10 or earlier. Um, and uh, as you can see here, you know, there's quite a bit of games that they say you're going to get a performance boost. So that's great. You know, if you're playing any of these games, it definitely might be worth uh, the uh, upgrade. Uh, I have uh, Battlefield 3. I'd like to see an increase in performance there, so that's great. I'll try that out. 3D Mark, um, Vantage, 3D Mark 11, sure. Let's run some tests and see if we see a boost in performance there as well. And... Um, and some other games. I mean, I had problems with Far Cry 3 in Affinity mode. If I tried to switch it to 1080p instead, I would get this fish eye effect. And, uh, you know, I tried the field of view, tried to change things around. I think there's some known issues there that they have not fixed when it comes to having Affinity and running it at a lower resolution. Definitely something is not right with Far Cry 3 because every other game that I have plays fine. So, um, bit disappointed there with respect to the updates from both Ubisoft and AMD. They still haven't fixed that issue. Now when it comes to the control center here, um, they've updated the 3D application settings here. Now they're pull down menus. Okay. Other than that, nothing else to talk about when it when it comes to the user interface in 13.1. So don't expect uh, anything fancy uh, or out of the ordinary. Everything is pretty much the same except for it being collapsed and into these uh, pull down uh, menu so um, not a big deal comparison benchmarks here's the before and after so Haven benchmark 2.5 there's the score 3021 I applied the update definitely the score went up to 3102 so we got some increase in performance there Cinebench however 81.77 with 13.3 uh, driver update before the update I had 82 so really no uh, no change there on the rendering on the OpenGL and uh, here on Furmark same deal you can see the scores actually went down a little bit from what I had uh, so not much to talk about with the OpenGL unfortunately it doesn't seem like there was much of an increase 3D Mark Vantage there was an increase a slight increase on the GPU score from 39735 Okay, so the frames per second did go up a little bit. It went up to 40167. So you can get anywhere from maybe 5 to 10 uh, frames per second more overall, I, I, I found. Here is the 3D Mark 11 Extreme score, 4801, before I updated the drivers. After I updated the drivers, 4799. So basically, no change. So the claim that uh, there's an increase in performance there, not really for, for that one. Game benchmarks all at 1920 times 1080. You can see here on far on um, Crisis 2. Sorry, you not too much of an increase, anywhere from five to ten frames per second, but still, you know, it's it's a generous amount. Borderlands 2, a um, little bit disappointed there. Not much to talk about, but the the maximum frames per second did go up a little bit. Uh, Battlefield 3, disappointed. Not much there either to talk about. Um, so. Um, you know, I was looking forward to, to something significant, but nothing. Call of Duty Black Ops 2 definitely did uh, notice an increase in performance there. So, um, I don't know. That was uh, interesting. And uh, there you have it. So, it gives you a good idea. Mixed mixed uh, feelings on this upgrade, really. I mean, the only thing is I upgraded from beta 12.11 to the latest 13.1 um, drivers with the latest application profiles from AMD. And uh, those are uh, the results. Comment below, let me know what you think. And again, thank you for watching.